you guys are looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K19 account with a high overall and maxed out badges, make sure you hit up my boy Sports TMB. The link to his Twitter will be in the description. Click it, make sure you tell him that that boy sent you, and he'll hook you up with the account of your dreams. And the other board for the final time, number 24 on the floor, five-time world champion, Kobe Bryant. So Kobe Bryant isn't just retiring tonight. An era in the NBA is retiring tonight. We are here to celebrate greatness for 20 years. As cold-blooded an assassin as we have seen this side of Michael Jordan. Kobe Bryant has confirmed this season with the LA Lakers will be his last. Half court taken away by Kobe Bryant, who is going to go the distance up and slams it home. Well, yeah, he's a special player. And he ain't Leave it to five-time NBA champion Kobe Bryant to upstage the National Football League. Oh, how about? Oh no! Wow, Kobe Bryant is for real. What to do, YouTube? That boy back with another video, man. And today we're talking about a prime, yes, a prime, number 24, Black Mamba Kobe Bryant build, man. This build is so perfect, I can't even explain it. I can't even explain how perfect this build is. So, of course, you're going to go with the shooting guard because we're talking about Kobe. Now, we could have made Afro Kobe, right? younger kobe but we want i wanted to go with prime kobe number 24 so shot creating is the primary build if you wanted to go afro kobe you could probably go driving and finishing secondary because that was back when kobe was just a straight up freak athlete and he was just driving dunking on everybody now even as number 24 he was still dunking on people but for number 24 kobe prime kobe we're talking like when he won the two championships with Pau gasol and those boys you want to go shot creating, primary, secondary, post scoring. I know it sounds stupid, but trust me, hang in there. Watch what this build gets. The five Hall of Fames are perfect for Kobe. Tireless, difficult, mid-range Deadeye. They're perfect for Kobe. Now, the gold badges are perfect as well because Kobe later in his career, he could catch and shoot really, really well. So you're getting that gold. He could still finish inside, acrobat and relentless gold. And if you remember, Kobe later in his career was a dominant dominant post player so you're getting drop stepper on gold and when you see these attributes it's crazy now look at these silver badges you kobe could still dunk on people back then so you're getting silver poster silver lob city you're also getting the shooting badges deep range dead eye corner specialist this build even gets silver ankle breaker it's honestly just insane the badges this build gets and when you see the attributes your your mind is going to be blown bro but Listen, the, the combination of mid-range ability combined with limitless bronze, like that's what made this build absolutely perfect because Kobe later in his career was a pretty decent three-point shooter in terms of his percentage. And when he got hot, he could be pulling from deep. And the fact that he gets bronze limitless on this build really, really helps. Now that bronze dimer, I mean, nah, I'm playing. Kobe averaged five assists in his career. So the bronze dimer fits him. You know, the post badges, the mid-range badges, the deep range badges, the playmaking badges it's just a crazy build in terms of the badges you get but it also just fits kobe to a t and when you see these attributes check this out so to get the perfect attributes we're gonna go six six because kobe was obviously six six but you could play with the 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 uh weight and the wingspan and you're gonna make it absolutely perfect just like kobe number 24 okay so for the weight you're gonna notice at default weight it would perform decently like kobe like, check it out. You're going to have a 73 contact dunk. You're going to have an acceleration of 75 and a strength of 73. Decent, but the contact dunk, in my opinion, should be higher. So if we max the weight out, boom, just like that, your contact dunk goes up to an 80, which is very, very good. And then your acceleration only drops to a 72 and your strength bumps up to an 81 which is going to help you get more contact dunks the more strength you have the more contact dunks you get also obviously the more strength you have the better you'll be in the post and kobe was a dominant post player uh in the second half of his career 
Now the wingspan, check this out. This is how we're gonna make it so that he can speed boost when he's in takeover, all right? So default wingspan, your ball controls is 77. So you're right on the cusp when you get that plus 10 of being able to speed boost. But if we go down one tick, that ball control goes up. And now if we go down two ticks, the ball control goes to a 79, which means when you get takeover you're, and you get plus 10, you're gonna be balling at an 89 ball control. You're gonna speed boost with no problem whatsoever, bro. Also, by moving it down, you look at the shooting, 87 mid-range, 76-3. Some of you might think Kobe should have a higher three, but Kobe was kind of streaky from three. He shot like low 30% uh, for his career. So, you know, that, that three ball is perfectly fine. And, you know, when you get hot, you'll be able to shoot the three ball like nothing. Look at the post game. 88 post game is crazy on a shooting guard, bro. You're going to be dominant in there with Kobe's post fades being able to spin drop step people up and under like i said 81 strength look at the layups in the 90s on layups the driving dunks in 81 the contact dunk is in 80. this build will play like a prime kobe i'm gonna have gameplay for you guys coming very very soon so if you're excited for the gameplay make sure you drop a like on the video man let's try to get this video to 2,000 likes i appreciate it kobe bryant prime black mamba build gameplay coming soon i'm out